Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. After a few weeks of some nice nude and elegant designs, I fancied doing something a little bit brighter. And then my friend Raisham Debi said why not do some butterfly wings? So I thought I'd add a twist and do them with some foils. Stay tuned to find out how. As always, I'm going to begin by cleansing my nail with 99% isopropyl alcohol and links to all the products are in the description. And this is after I've done filing and cuticle work where there's a link in the top right corner. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite peel off base coat from Unt and apply a nice even layer to all of the nails. I prefer to work on one hand at a time, so I apply the entire design to all five nails on one hand and once that's dry, apply to my second hand. I'm going to be using Essie's Aruba Blue for this design, which is my most favourite dark colour ever. And you may have seen this before if you've watched my video of the Lux Matte Blue Nails with the crystals underneath. As much as I do love this colour, it is unfortunately a three-coater if you're not applying anything over the top of it. And I do find the brushes on the Essie polishes a little small and thin for me because I have very long nails, but they'd work really well if you had shorter or small nails. Clean up any mistakes with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone. And once your first coat is dry, go straight in with your second coat and apply nice and evenly to the nails. You don't have to worry if it's not fully opaque because we are going to be applying foil over the top. We just want to make sure if there's any gaps in the foil, then we have some lovely color underneath. Because the brushes are so small on these polishes and my nails are so long, I do have to apply quite a lot of polish to my brush and then pull it over the nail quite quickly, which does result in me making a few mistakes on the skin around the nails, as you can see. But I did want to give you a quick shot of just how gorgeous this colour is. It is beautiful. Once your polish is dry, we're going to go in with a foil adhesive, and my favourite is linked in the description. And we're just going to apply this to all five nails. Now it will go on with this strange blue hue, but that's so you know when it's dry, as when it's dry, it goes completely clear. I do find sometimes as well, because I've had this one quite a while, you can get little tiny white bits in it, which I think the adhesive gone a bit dry, as you can see at the top. So I do draw these off to prevent bumps. Now I'm going to use a graduated blue foil. However, the camera doesn't kind of pick up how it's a paler blue at the bottom than the top. So I'm applying the pale blue end directly to the cuticle area just in line with the skin at the base and rubbing over slightly with my nail to adhere it down. However, I do find it easier if you go in with a pad like a plastic back pad as it's a little bit firmer and rub thoroughly over the whole nail to make sure it's adhered. This just seems to give a really good effect of making the foil stick well to the foil adhesive. And you can see it's starting to peel off where it's already stuck down and that's absolutely fine. I just keep rubbing the foil with the pad until it feels like it's all stuck down. And you can see here at the tip there's still a little bit that needs to be stuck down. Once you've done the first nail you tend to get a feel for what you need to do and the other nails go much much quicker. Once you're happy with the look quite simply just peel it off. And if any bits are stuck just give them another rub down and then peel off again. However, sometimes it sticks where there's creases. If you've missed any bits, just go back in with your foil and stick it down. Before we go in with a normal top coat, we need to use a water-based top coat first. And this is because if you go in with a normal top coat over foil and foil adhesive on nail polish, then it makes all the foil crack and craze up and sort of split like a desert. I'm still looking for a more effective way than this, but this is the best to date. And once your water-based top coat is dry, use your favourite normal top coat and apply it over the whole nail. However, as I show you in a moment, this still does cause the foil to crack. And so far, the only way I've been able to find a perfect way to apply foils is with using gel polish. Because whatever it is to do with the top coat, it doesn't affect it. And as you can see here, the nail on the right has had a water-based top coat applied and then a regular top coat applied. And the nail on the left has just had the water-based top coat applied. Now using my favourite black, which is Little Black Dress from Morgan Taylor, and my fine detail brush, links to these are in the description, I'm just going to apply some lines across the nail to try and create the look of a butterfly wing. 
Now you do not have to be perfect, I didn't really have a proper idea of what I was going to do here, I did a quick look at pictures of butterfly wings on the internet, and then just decided to wing it really to be honest, excuse the pun. I'm creating the lines in a sort of fan effect, and as you can see I messed up a bit, but it doesn't really matter to be honest, you don't notice on the final nail. And once you've drawn all your lines around the nail and down one side, we're going to join them up again by doing little semicircles between each line. And this is just to give that structure effect of a butterfly's wing. And just join up all of the lines together with the semicircle shape. And again, this does not have to be perfect. It still looks amazing if each one is slightly different. And you can see here the design is starting to take shape. I'm just going to add a few more details to the actual structure of the wing, as well as to the tip. And we're going to do this again by doing semicircles between the lines, but this time in the opposite direction at the top of the nail. And then I'm just going to fill it in with some more polish to add some definition. The beautiful thing for beginners and intermediates with this look is that because it's over a dark foil and it's a black polish, if you make mistakes it's not a huge problem. You can just fill in your mistakes or carry on and they're really not noticeable once you top coat at the end. To perfect your look you can just add some more detailing if you want to deepen those beautiful curves at the top of the nail and that just helps to give it that 3D look. Now the reason I applied top coat before doing this is to try and add a bit of depth to the design and take the black polish away from the foil. To help that design look more 3D I'm going to take some white polish and mix it with my black to get a deep grey. And again this doesn't have to be perfectly done. And just roughly apply it down the sides of your black lines but just on one side of them. And that gives a sort of raised look to it and adds a bit more dimension. Now you probably won't have to keep mixing it up like I do, but working under the studio lights it makes my polishes dry so quickly they get a bit difficult to work with sometimes. Then taking a dotting tool and our white, I'm just going to apply some larger dots randomly first in the black area at the tip of the nail. And then I'm going to swap to a finer dotting tool to fill in the gaps in between and just keep going smaller and smaller with the dots. Now I have based these nails loosely on the blue Morpho butterfly which is absolutely stunning and iridescent blue with black detailing. It doesn't however have the white dots but I just felt this needed a bit more to make the design really pop and stand out. For the best effect to be honest you need to try and turn around to a needle point dotting tool and get those super super fine dots because when you're looking at this through the camera magnified you can't really tell how detailed this is and so if you add those super super fine little dots it really sets off the design beautifully and if you do make any mistakes you can just cover back over with a black polish and once all your white polish is dry we're going to go in with a glossy top coat and apply a very generous layer here because we don't want to smear any of those designs underneath and just float that top coat over all the nails and make sure that you cap the end to prevent chipping. And once that top coat is dry we're going to apply our cuticle oil around the nail, just on the skin and then massage it gently in. And here are the finished nails and these are so beautiful. I've been wearing them for a couple of days and had so many comments when I've been out and about. They really do catch your eye. It's just a shame you can't see the difference in the blues from the base to the tip properly under the camera. If you've liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every weekend. And if there's any nail videos you'd like to see me do, then please just comment down below in the comment section. I do read all the comments, I try to get back to as many as I can, but that's not always possible, but I do read them all, I promise you. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to showing you another one next weekend. Please check out my other videos, as well as my second channel, and please don't forget to subscribe!